Hi, I'm Graham Davis, and we're here at Five Forks Restaurant. Uh, today we're going to be doing a balsamic portobello uh, chicken with basil whipped potatoes and seasonal veg. Um, in our marinade, uh, we use some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, garlic, onions, salt, pepper, and some dried herbs, uh, rosemary, and thyme in ours. We put the mushrooms with the chicken because they usually go together fairly well, especially when you add in the balsamic marinade and balsamic cream sauce that we have with it. It just kind of gives a nice zip to the dish and makes it pretty tasty. Some things you don't want to do with your chicken is you don't want to overcook it. Um, overcooking your chicken dries it right out. Um, on the other hand as well, you don't want to undercook it. Um, a meat thermometer actually comes in pretty handy there so you can get it to uh, 165 degrees, which is perfect uh, internal temperature for your chicken. Uh, we chose this dish because it's one of our most popular dishes on our menu. We uh, recently added it with our uh, new menu and people have just been falling in love with it. Um, plus, it's a super easy dish to make at home. Um, all you need is chicken breast, some balsamic, and some mushrooms. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken breast here, toss into a bag, a couple ounces of marinade. Pour that all in there and just kind of give it a bit of a mix. Make sure it evenly coats the whole breast. Um, we'll get the air out of it and we'll give it a time. So yeah, we'll just take this and we'll pop it in our fridge for now. All right, one thing you really want to do is make sure your grill's got some oil on it. I like to just take a little bit of an oily rag and give it a wipe down. That way your uh, chicken won't stick. And now this should be good and we'll go ahead and pop her on our grill. All right, so now our grill's nice and hot and our chicken's good and marinated. We will uh, place her on there in a bit of an angle. See if you can hear that sear on there. Well, now that our pan's nice and hot, we'll uh, get some oil in there and get that all mixed around, make sure it's all nice and hot. Followed by a little bit of our diced onion, nice and hot so you can hear that sizzle. Uh, a little bit of garlic and of course, portobello mushrooms. We'll give that a bit of a toss. A um, little pinch of salt and pepper. And move it around a bit so it doesn't stick. And we'll uh, turn it down just a hair. So once we've got those sauteed off a little bit, we're gonna take uh, the marinade that's left over in our chicken bag here. And just uh, squeeze that right in there. And we'll follow that up with a little bit of cream. So now we're uh, about ready for a quarter turn here. We'll give our first turn of our chicken. So now we got another hot pan. We'll add some more oil. So now that our pan and oil are nice and hot, we'll uh, add in our veg. The same thing, we're just gonna throw in a little bit of garlic and a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll turn this down a bit just so it doesn't burn before it cooks. I also like to give a little bit of butter into my veg. It just gives them a little bit nicer of a flavor. Start with our beautiful basil whipped potatoes here. Get those on the plate. And we'll leave a little bit of room here for our veg and then we'll plop our top chicken right on top. And our chicken's about ready to be flipped now. So now we got those nice charred hash marks on there and it's uh, looking and smelling pretty good. So now that our veg is done, we'll uh, Put it in here right next to our mash. Beautiful. Now we're just waiting and we'll drop our chicken in right about here. Now that our chicken breast is good to go, we'll uh, take it over and put it on our plate. Put this down just like that. Now we'll take our portobello here and we'll just place them right on top of our chicken breast. We're gonna take the rest of this sauce and just right over top. And even a little on the mesh because it tastes good on everything. All right, and then we'll just add a little bit of rosemary here for some garnish and there it is, uh, some balsamic uh, portobello chicken. Uh, my name is Adam Belinke. I uh, work at Five Forks and today I'll be making uh, French vanilla and chocolate Manhattan. Uh, traditional Manhattan is basically two parts rye, Canadian whiskey. Uh, one part sweet vermouth and a little bit of bitters. It's, uh, it's a cocktail that was founded in like the late 1800s. It's uh, in Manhattan. It's a very old cocktail and 
one of the original cocktails. We're doing a different take on a Manhattan. We, uh, we use a French vanilla coffee bean infused rye that we make here. Uh, we use a chocolate simple syrup and an Aztec chocolate bitters along with the regular bitters um, to give it a French vanilla and chocolate Manhattan taste to it. The rye is uh, <clears throat> just our house rye, it's 40 Creek. Um, it's distilled down just outside of Toronto, I believe in Grimsby, Ontario. And we use uh, French vanilla coffee beans and we let them sit in the rye in this bottle for a couple weeks and basically the rye just takes on the flavors from the French vanilla coffee. And uh, in a couple weeks time after it sits, it just has a really nice rich bold flavor to it. So basically we're gonna start with our coffee rye, our French vanilla infused coffee rye. And we're gonna add two ounces to our martini shaker. Next is the Martini Rosso Sweet Vermouth, and we're going to add about three quarter ounces of that. Too. So next we'll take our chocolate simple syrup, add about a quarter ounce, and with the rest, so we'll use, uh, we'll do two drops of the Aztec chocolate bitters, and we'll do one drop of the Dillon Small Batch Bitters. Shake it up, pour it over uh, an ice sphere. And then uh, take a little orange peel and light it on fire a little bit and put it in there for garnish. So we'll uh, heat up the orange peel, squeeze out the oils, allow the oils to drop in, put the rest of the orange peel inside, and that's your drink.